Jets have finalized the trade for Aaron Rodgers. What? It is done. Really? Aaron Rodgers is now a New York Jet. What up? Hi, Craig. Hi. Hi, Craig. You're welcome. Hi, Craig. Uh huh. What happened to the Niners, Craig? Aaron Rodgers is the a Niners? Jet. Niners. There Where you go. You, at? <laughs> you can take a source. Woo! You can what? Throw it out the window. Yes. Because Aaron Rodgers is a New York Jet, and you can mock me, and you all can mock me for all. Yes. You were too confident over the last few yes. weeks. Yes. You were too cocky over the last few weeks. I was only cocky, not because I'm smart. I'm not that smart. I was cocky because deep down you knew it was inevitable. Here's what it is. When the ready? man said one quick thing and then you tell me because I don't know yeah. what the deal is. And then I want to guess it. Can we play that game? Uh, when sure. You, when Aaron Rodgers says he intends to be a Jet, he's a man of his word. Now, what's in the trade, Craig? All right. What's here we in go. the trade? I'm going to give it to you right now. Let's go. The New York Jets yeah. get Aaron Rodgers. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. This year's first round pick was not traded, but it may have been swapped. A, it has been swapped. It was swapped. Yes, it was. So they go from 13 to 15. That is worth a third round pick, by the way. Okay. We did it on a little chart. Okay. So the New York Jets have dropped down from 13 to 15. Okay, I'm all right. The Green Bay Packers go from 15 to 13. Okay. Green Bay has also given the New York Jets oh. a fifth round pick this year. in this year's draft. All right. Number 170 overall. The Jets have added a fifth round pick. Okay, keep going. The Green Bay Packers, in addition to the first round swap, get a second round pick this year. And they're back to back, so it doesn't matter. Which is the 42nd pick. 41 so the 42. better of the two. Okay. 42-43. 42-43. Yep. Only one second round pick. They only give up, uh, well, for this year. We'll get, yes. to, we'll get to that. They also this year, give, one, the New York Jets also give the Green Bay Packers their sixth round pick. Whatever. Number 207. Whatever. They also give up a conditional 2024 second round pick that becomes a first round pick if Aaron Rodgers plays 65% of the offensive plays. That's it? That's how it becomes a first round pick? Yes. I mean, so basically, yeah. they have protect. I don't love that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't love that. You had to make the trade. Okay, I had to make it. But you're telling me that all so Aaron Rodgers... if Rogers, you forget about the fifth and sixth, just for the sake of this conversation... Yeah, I don't care about that. Then, essentially, it's a first-round swap, a second-round pick, and another second that could become a first. Well, basically, it's a first-round pick unless things are an unmitigated disaster. Correct. 65% of snaps. I mean, put it this way, fellow Jet fans. And again, you had to do it. I'm ecstatic. He can be Brett Favre from the one year he was here. It becomes a first-round pick. That's because Brett Favre played. Yep. He didn't necessarily play well down the stretch. He didn't come back for another year. So I would admit this. Green Bay got what they wanted. Because the Jets got no protections about Aaron Rodgers playing a second season. Nor did they get protections of, well, we'll improve the pick if we're in the playoffs. They got and a Super second Bowl. and a first. That's, you Just know what? in reverse order. They got it done. Let's move on. Aaron Rodgers now, well, it'll be official. <laughs> uh, but Aaron Rodgers is now officially a New York Jet. What happened, Craig? There you go. What happened? Well, the Jets got off their high horse. What happened to the Niners? The, the Jets agreed to make a deal. You and Tiki should be embarrassed. Is that right? Oh, the Niners are a threat. My ass, they were never a threat. Okay. They were negotiating with one team. <laughs> and the Packers, to their credit, they yes. created a boogeyman for Craig to scare people about. Yeah. It was never real. It was never a thing. Can't say that. Aaron Rodgers was you can't always say it going was to never be real. A new... What it was real? No, I told you what it was. Turns out the Jets got a deal done. Stop it. The and Niners I told you from never. Jump Street. No, you, the Jets were always in the driver's you seat. You do not get to say it. I never point, wavered on Like that. I've always said. You told us we weren't getting them. You told us the Niners were going to scoop in. No, no, this is no victory for Craig Carton. Okay, no victory for you. Can, this is a victory for Jet. Congratulations. Congratulations uh, to the New York Jets, Joe Douglas, and of course every Jet fan out there. It is official. Aaron Rodgers is now a New York Jet, and you have to love Sweet Caroline. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and you have to love yeah. that for a lot of us, we never had to sweat this out. Because I think I spoke for a lot of Jet fans who weren't really going to get nervous until this started to move towards the NFL draft. And if we got to Thursday and we got to Friday, okay, maybe I'll start to get nervous. But we never got there. 
because Joe Douglas and Goon Scoons got the deal done on a Monday a mere hours after it was reported that they finally started talking. But, Jet fans, I want this to sink in. Aaron Rodgers, one of the great quarterbacks to ever play the game, is going to quarterback the New York Jets. He is replacing Zach Wilson. He is replacing Mike White. He's replacing the cavalcade of garbage that we've watched man that position really since Joe Namath. And hopefully this works out. There's no guarantee. There's a lot of exhibits of going after a superstar failing. We saw it with the Nets. We may have even seen it already now with Scherzer and Verlander. But you have to take this gamble because the New York Jets have a chance to win a Super Bowl. They do. Doesn't mean they're going to. They have a chance. Aaron Rodgers is a New York Jet. Our long national nightmare, if you called it that, is over. Congratulations to us. We got Aaron Rodgers. Yes. The New York Jets are now in the conversation for the 2024 Super Bowl. Yes. How about that? Yes. (laughs) Let's Go. And while there are things about this trade that make me nervous, well, pick-wise, you gave up, uh, you you gave up a first-round pick next year, essentially, yeah, and a uh, second-round pick this year. I would have said... But you got yourselves for at least a year a franchise quarterback. I, I have no problem with the swap of ones. I don't have a problem with the two. I think that's fair. It's a guarantee you have Aaron Rodgers this year. I think that the conditional pick moving from two to one based on just merely playing 65% of the snaps... Yeah, that's all it is. It's not, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not great. Now, at the end of the day, I'm sitting across the table from Goon Scoons. I want this trade done. Do I end up pulling the trigger on that? Probably. But I would have hoped that it wouldn't have turned out that way, to be honest with you. The Jets ultimately recognize that we can't afford for this to go south. We don't want to wait until uh, the last minute to get a deal done. Because now that we're uh, in draft week, obviously every single day that goes by, there's the possibility that somebody else jumps in. Let's just get it done. So now it's done. Aaron Rodgers is a New York Jet. We got one year. Let's go win a well, Super Bowl. Maybe two years. You never. <laughs> <laughs> maybe two years. All right. Your reaction to the news. Eight seven seven. Also have additional news. Adam Schefter has followed up with his uniform number choice. It had been hotly debated that oh, because easy, Joe Namath had easy. offered the number 12. This is easy. That Aaron Rodgers would potentially take the number 12 off the wall and wear it because Joe Namath gave it his blessing. And he did it right here on the fan. He brought yep. up the Tiki and Tierney. This is easy. What's easy? It's eight. It's college number. That it's is easy. what Adam Schefter yeah. is reporting. He will wear the number eight. I think that is a great first move by Aaron Rodgers. I thought it would have been a mistake to take the number 12. Yep. So we move on from a potential controversy that wasn't necessary. Great job by Joe. It was very nice of him to offer that, but very good decision by Aaron Rodgers. He passed his first test as quarterback of the New York Jets. Oh, I can't wait for the press conference now. <laughs> Can you apologize now? I have nothing to apologize for. Apologize to the Jet fans. You tried to freak out for the last month and a half. I didn't. I was just telling you facts. But I stayed firm, ladies and gentlemen. All that fear that he put in the air, I tried to be your beacon of hope. (laughs) I tried to be your beacon of trust. I tried to stand up to that bully and tell him, you got nothing to worry about. A-Rodge will be a New York Jet. So I stand for you, Jet fans, against that evil... Bully of misinformation, correct, Gordon? By the way, it was not in misinformation. It was factual. San Francisco told Green Bay that they wanted in. And I said repeatedly, the Jets still control this, but if they don't get a deal done by the draft, guess what? They might lose them. Now, apparently, with uh, this news becoming official now, uh, NFL sources are saying that our New York Jets are looking at as many as one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six primetime games. Bring it up, baby. Last year they had one. Against the Jaguars. The, the Thursday night Jaguar debacle. And they have not played a true Sunday night game in a decade. So the Jets are going from 
you know, basically like they have a disease they can't be on primetime TV to being on all the time. And as a Jet fan, I welcome it. I welcome the expectations. I welcome the hype. And there is a lot of hype. And there's going to be a lot of people that will hate the New York Jets. No question about it. Great. The haters will come. But the New York Jets, without a shadow of a doubt, have given themselves their best chance to compete for something huge in 2023. Doesn't mean it's going to work out, but sometimes in life, you got to take a shot. Aaron Rodgers is officially a New York Jet. Yes. The Giants have Daniel Jones. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Woo! Don't shake your head, Big Mac. Don't do that. Uh, I said, well, now we have to we update the, the GQ better list. We got the quarterback. We got the better QB. We got the better quarterback. We got the better QB. Oh, and guess what? Oh, what's that? Who's you the best the number for the first time in the in NFL years? in New York? Do you want your number eight or do you want my number eight? <laughs> Don't make me root for this thing to blow up. I want to. I want to enjoy it. I want to become a Jet. Why fan don't with you this. play this game? Because I, I don't like your game. How about yeah, this your game? game sucks. Oh, How sorry. about this game? I say to this. I, I say this. the Giants. You know that. Hey, Dolphin fans. Yeah. Yeah. Who's got the better quarterback? There you go. Who's, Who's got, got the better QB? <laughs> Who's like got that. the better quarterback? Oh, Who's got the better QB? I got one more. Hey, Patriot fans, who's got the better quarterback? Who's got the better QB? <laughs> I like that one. That's fun. You want to really start a problem? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Bengal fans, who's, who's got, got the better quarterback? Who's got the better QB? <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but well, whatever. <laughs> well, we're going to be so obnoxious this fall, it's not going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> Look oh, at this you. Is tremendous. Look at you, how quickly you've eaten this up. <laughs> I know. He went from Look at this. the sky is falling. Yeah. It's not going to happen. He not doesn't even, like it. Not even that excited about it. <laughs> right. you know. And now all of now, a sudden he's jumped on board. I mean, he's he's putting a song that a month ago, to be honest. But that, okay. that's, that's the only thing I would say about this. If this was the holdup and, you know, the owner is, you know, concerned about retirement and all this, 65% was the holdup? 65 yeah, I, mean, no, no, no. I don't think there was a hold up. Here's what I think happened, and I will admit this. The Jets gave in. Yeah. Like, that's how I would take this. If the hold the up Jets was. The Jets caved. That's for us. If the hold up for was good compensation on the conditional pick, if that really was the issue, other than the Packers simply saying, we want a guaranteed first round pick, this is like a half a step down. Because for Aaron Rodgers to not play 65% of the snaps would be an unmitigated yeah. disaster Correct. for this team. No, that's and, right. and it does nothing for if he retires after this. No. Year. No. I mean, there's no protection on him playing past this next season. Zero. The, the thing is, we, just don't be, know, we don't know what the restructured contract's going to be, but right. I, I think this is almost like a lottery protection in the NBA. Where we get to keep our first round pick if things are an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> you know? Because if he doesn't play 65% of the snaps, who oh. is playing the other 35% of the snaps? Good math by me. Uh, that's probably Zach Wilson. And if that's the case, that's a problem. The Jets are, I mean, I'd put the Jets on hard knocks. I mean, the Jets are going to be the toast of the NFL yeah. until they prove otherwise. You know, what, you know what's funny about that? Yeah. There are certain rules where you can block an appearance on hard knocks. The Jets do not qualify. No, it's when you have a new head coach. New head coach, I think if you made the playoffs last year, something in that regard. And so the Jets have no ability to block it, and they would probably be the sexiest team to put on hard oh, knocks. Oh, there's no doubt about it. They were, obviously, when Rex was here, and we all watched that, you know, the famous M&Ms and all that crap, right? But uh, the New York it, Jets are now here. Listen, let's just call it the way it is. Without being cocky or arrogant or anything else, you've got the Cincinnati Bengals, the Buffalo Bills, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the New York Jets. They're a contender. That's right? that's what you ask I mean, for. That's what we're looking at. I don't. Here's the thing that's coming through my brain. I don't love the fact that they gave in on the 24 pick, but it's certainly not enough to make me a walk away or b be angry. Because at the end of the day, they acquired Aaron Rodgers, which was the goal this entire offseason. And if you do get him for two years, it makes it easier to swallow. And, and I don't know if Aaron Rodgers knows what he's thinking about next year. And quite frankly, we can't even think about it. It's all about this season. Yeah. It's giving yourself the best chance to win right now. <laughs> you know what's going to be hilarious? Aaron Rodgers will show up at mini camps, and the Green Bay Packers will use that 13th pick to draft a wide receiver. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, right? After all those times they refused to do it. There you go. All right, well, look, great news. Real quick, let's go to Chris in Jersey on the fan. Chris, 